All right, so if you have a Chevrolet product, Yukon, Tahoe, uh, 1500, Sierra, any of those, and your blower motor will only work on two or three speeds out of the five that it's supposed to, this is more than likely going to be your issue. This is a blower motor resistor. They're known for going bad in Chevrolet products. They get hot, they end up melting. And you can kind of see in there on the prongs. This one right here is definitely melted. Uh, it's a common issue in these Chevrolets. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to replace this today. So what you're gonna need is a five by 5.5 socket. I need you some wire strippers, some side cutters, and a flathead. Now, that flathead is going to help you pop the pigtail off the blower motor from the resistor. Now, the new kit that we got that we're going to be installing is the brand new blower motor resistor and a brand new pigtail for the blower motor resistor. It will come with new prep fittings. So if you look down here, you can tell someone else has already replaced this one time. Which means we're going to have to come on this side of the factory harness and cut their crimps out. We don't want to have a double crimp on a wire. We want the least amount of crimps as possible. Your blower motor resistor sits right up here. So it'll set in this hole right here. You'll have a bolt here, a bolt here. There's only two bolts. That'll be these two here. And this is the pasture side. So we're going to go ahead and get these pulled down. Now the new harness, you can see, is definitely not color-coded to the factory harness. So what we're going to do, we're going to go based off the pigtail here before we go and just cut all the wires. We're going to look and see that this here, the clip that detaches it. So, so we're gonna face both of our pigtails like that. And then we're gonna go one wire at a time. We're gonna match this wire with the outside of this wire. We're gonna run it up, we're gonna cut, and then crimp. That way we know the wires go back exactly like they came off. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on that. All right, so as you can see here, we got both of our pigtails side by side. This is a little pop release clip on both of them. This outside wire is already connected to the first one. This is the first outside wire on the one that we're removing. You see what I mean by cutting on the other side. So if it has been replaced on yours before and it does have this crimp, make sure you cut on this side of the crimp because you don't want a double crimp on your, your wires. And this one's all crimped up, ready to go. So we're ready just to follow down the wire sequence, matching it up one at a time with this pigtail too, so we know that the wires go in the right spot. Um, if you're doing this on one that hasn't been done before, some of your books or the parts might have the wiring schematic to tell you which wire will go away. And is that easy so let me get this done and i'll be right back all right now we got our pigtail here camera and all of our crimps made so what i'm going to do is run some electrical tape around each of these individually and then i will take a zip tie zip tie them and make it look pretty and tuck it back up in here and then I'll be right back. But yeah, so just make sure that uh, all your wires are cramped. You can hold the center and then pull out, pull a little bit. Make sure that the wires don't just slide out easily. You wanna make sure that they're getting cramped. Uh, and the electrical tape is just extra precaution. All right, and as you see, we got our new blower motor resistor installed. There's that one screw and the other screw. The red wire on the back of the resistor goes to the back side of the blower motor. These look like they're pull tight, but they're not. They're zip tied together here. And we zip tied it to a harness up here to 
keep the wires from showing. So, remember to hit that subscribe button. At a thousand subscribers, we'll be doing a tool giveaway.